Hello, everybody, and welcome out uh, to our essential oil spotlight class tonight. Um, the essential oil we're talking about tonight is spikenard. Spikenard. <laughs> Yay! Spikenard is kind of a new oil for us, but it's a, an old one. Um, does anybody have any experience in this with this oil? We've used it some in our house for a few different reasons, but um, at first we didn't like the smell. We had to get used to it, and then after, we just, it's fine now. It's, it just smelled different, but um, we've used it for sleep, but I can't remember. There's a few things Jason had to use it for, and this was one that I saw early on because one of the first things I watched was the um, oils of the Bible, and in that I was like, my son needs that. We need to get that oil in this house. You know, <laughs> I was thinking of all these. So it was one that I put on my wish list and waited. And then when I got it, I was like, yay. And then I smelled it. I was like, that's weird. I didn't know what I was expecting. But um, yeah. And then it kept on pulling up on our Toby. Uh -huh. for Jason all the time. And he's like, again? <laughs> I was yeah. like, maybe there's some cleaning we need to do with that. Yeah, yeah interesting. You know, it's, it's never come up for me, Spike Nard. Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't had a lot of experience using it that way, but I know what it does, and I, I try to use it as much as I can anyways. It's a good yummy oil. Uh-huh. How about you, Some people peaches? don't like the smell, first Oh, Debbie? Some people think it smells like stinky feet. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't had I've, I've had the it, but I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah, when I first smelt it, I thought, ooh, a little bit moldy soil, a bit um, pungent. Yeah, and I looked up the emotion. I'm like, okay, i got to work on this one. <laughs> yeah, so it's from the root. So, of course, it smells like soil. Um, but to me, it smells now like wet, nutrient-rich dirt. Um, but it's an oil that's been used for centuries. People really, really appreciated it. The, it's um, In India, it's... The part of the Ayurvedic um, health uh, practices that they uh, use. Um, but when you, I think in general, when you think of spikenard, you can think of it as um, an oil for skin. Um, so I use it at night time sometimes, I just interchange because it helps with sleep too. And this particular spikenard is from Nepal. Yeah. So, what do you think, Ben? What does it smell like for you? I think it's. It seems like it's a, like a bit of a. Yeah. But also kind of grain, sort of mm. musky smell, but mm. dirt. Um, yeah. Uh, earthy. It's smell. more dirt than any of the oils that I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's very pungent. Mm -hmm. um, has a strong smell. A lot of people don't like it at first. It's got a. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but then once you get used to it, it changes you. So. Um, that's why I think it's great for people just to use oils, any oils at all, and then you slowly get out of your own way and, and heal somehow. So just to give you a quick summary for aging, irritated skin, for dry skin, um, for, you know, the wrinkles and things, it's great for sleep and relaxation. Actually, it's for people who can't even sleep, you know, insomniacs. Um, and it's cleansing and detoxifying. Cleansing as in, you know, if you've got, uh, you know, parasites and things inside your body, um, fungus and um, stuff, it, it really cleans that out. It really kind of helps um, our body destroy all those invaders. Um, muscle spasms, spasms in um, your, your body, your legs, your muscles, that's, it's great for that. So add it to your massage oils um, for digestion and gas indigestion, heartburn, things like that. Amazing um, for that. And um, emotionally, it's the oil of gratitude and helping people release the feelings of victim mentality and expecting bad luck. Um, so this is an awesome oil, actually. I've grown to really appreciate it and I, I understand now why it's so valuable um, and it's been mentioned in the Bible. So. That's spike nut in a nutshell for you. Okay, so we'll get going and start at the, the top here and talk about the body and how it helps with the body. 
Okay, so let's scroll down. Uh, great for aging skin, so you can mix it in your moisturizer. Um, and, uh, and sometimes I just put it with uh, fractionated coconut oil and rub it on my face. Um, just depends on what I feel like. There's several oils that's great for skin. Um, but this is one of them. I just like to, you know, get to uh, our health, our body, our skin in different ways. So I use one oil and then I use another. Sometimes I use a combination. So that's uh, an amazing oil for that. Um, so if we have some sort of, uh, say, environmental threat on our skin and it starts, it's, it's irritating, uh, it's great to mix the spikenard with the fractionated coconut oil and cedar wood oil, okay? Um, and uh, it'll, it helps with uh, repelling bugs at the same time. And bugs, it can be big bugs and it can be microscopic bugs too. Um, these, this one is very, very gentle on the skin. So you're really diluting because you wanna keep it on the skin, not because it's there's skin sensitivity, okay? And it's because it's so gentle, you can use it in your um, sensitive areas of your body. <laughs> okay, so when people have um, issues in your private areas, this is a wonderful oil to use in that area to, to help whatever it is that uh, is irritating you. Okay, um, skin cleansing. So use it as part of your cleansing um, as well. So you can um, put it in your wash, your face wash. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's great against environmental threats. So there's uh, quite a few research out there that, um, you know, is one of the top oils for that. Alrighty. Now gas and indigestion. You can put one to two drops of spikenard with fractionated coconut oil and rub it on your tummy. You can rub it on the bottom of your feet, in the middle where the arch is, and also on the top. Because uh, if we look at meridians, not reflex points, meridians on the top of the feet, um, you know, it, it uh, affects the tummy as well. Okay. So, you know, when you tend to be a stress head, you know, um, then, you know, I would rub it all over the bottom of your feet and just keep doing that. Uh, because when we are stressed, we're in our heads and um, almost always, will have some tummy concerns. And even if people say, well, no, I don't feel anything. I don't have tummy problems. Sometimes it's, um, you don't go to the bathroom as often, or sometimes it's just build up of um, the fungus and candida because uh, we don't share the energy with our, our, the rest of our body, especially our gut. Okay, and sometimes people are so in their head that they are not even aware of the rest of their body. Um, so what's happening down there, they don't have any connections to it. So they think, oh, everything's all good. Um, but maybe it's not. Okay. If you stress too much, um, it's, it's too much, right? So then really help yourself balance. And then maybe your body can make more connections and communicate with you better. And then you'll have more of a, a self-awareness that way. All right. Um, any questions or comments? All right, let's move on. Um, for the eyes, so sometimes your eyes are irritated or you've got some sort of infection inside your body and um, your eyes uh, show that, okay? Um, so I would um, put the spike mat on the bottom of your feet on the toes, okay? And that will help with um, any of the eye concerns. Alrighty, remember it's very cleansing. Um, so you don't have to put it on your eyes, um, or put on the skin around it, uh, but put it on the bottom of your feet. Um, it's pretty good too. So my friend's daughter had um, some sort of uh, pink eyes uh, concern and uh, she said, but you said you, we can't put oils on your eyes. What do I do? And I said, put it on your feet, on your toes. And she said, ah, and she tried it. And two days later, she's like, oh, all clear. Thank you. <laughs> so. It's amazing. Your body's fantastic at that. All righty, guys. Any questions on this? That's pretty easy and straightforward. Um, the next one here is muscle spasms. Uh, so you have your wonderful deep blue oil 
and sometimes deep blue um, doesn't quite do it. So you might want to add a few oils to that. So spike nut is one of them if you tend to have some cramping. So I know Stacy, your mom says that she she had it um, quite often. And she has to get out of bed and stretch, and then when she's back in, it, it kind of does it again. Um, so maybe just do this before bed, okay, um, on your legs. And there's other areas of your body that have spasms. You know, sometimes we, we cramp uh, at that time of the month or um, when we're healing for, from some sort of surgery, our body does um, a bit of a spasm as it uh, goes back to normal, um, even after birth. So think about that um, and try spike nard, okay? Any questions, guys, or questions or comments or stories? Did you say for digest for the gas and ingestion, you rub it on the top of your foot? Which one was it said that the one that you said for the top of your foot? Yep, you're right. The gas and indigestion on the top of your feet too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You rub it on the bottom, but I know that the meridians run on the top too. So sometimes I do that. Yeah. But I haven't shared it. <laughs> but I should share it with people. Yeah. Yeah. Jason's like, I must need to cleanse because this thing keeps on coming up. And yeah. I said, you probably do. You, you, you didn't keep on doing some of those things. That probably would have alleviated that. Yeah. Because so like, it came up a long time ago. Then it stopped. But he did the cleanse. And now it's coming up. He's like, again. So I just, in the bottle, is like way less than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so. I was like, oh, okay, but yeah. Yeah, I check with my children a lot too. I say, breathe in my face, and I smell their breath, and I'm like, okay, you're good. <laughs> you know, sometimes like, no, start cleansing again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially during Halloween, and I let them eat a bit of candy, and you know, after that, I think, okay, just make sure everything's still good and clean. Keep drinking lemon and other oils, and then. You know, because you don't want things to start growing and festering in there. Um, but we're pretty good. I just I check breasts. And, you know, you get so sensitive um, in a good way and aware in a good way that I could smell people who are sick. Uh, it's so interesting. So I was sitting at church and I don't know if my friends are going to listen. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, yeah. Something, something's not quite right. And Ben's like, I don't know. I don't know if it smells fine. I'm like, no, somebody's sick. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, when I worked in pediatrics, we used to say that, um, like strep or anything, you can, you can smell that. Yeah. And we would say that that's coming from, like, a fungus somewhere, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and especially when we have teeth problems. All the teeth has um, meridians uh, that are... Um, reflex points that are connected to it. So like my daughter, she had some sort of um, a gum problem and then we, we did, I did muscle testing and I looked at the chart and I said, how ah, intestines and lungs. And so we kind of rocked, uh, digested, breathed. And, and uh, after a couple of days, it was fine. And then the tooth was fine because we fixed the, the lungs and the um, intestines too. So it's really important. So if your organs are messed up, you're gonna have teeth problems too. So it's a wonderful way to to see and check um yeah in chinese medicine they they check your pulse they check your hands they check your eyes they check all sorts of things and they can see oh yeah that tells me that down in here in here these organs are unhappy yeah so it's awesome okay so that's the body there's plenty of things that you can do with spike nut it's been around for a long long time so people do a lot with it uh we're so grateful that we have uh Spike nut um, is part of our doTERRA um, oils now. So that's pretty cool. Welcome, Martha. Alrighty, so let's go to the mind. Okay, so this is really cool because if you think about it, guys, anything that is from trees, um, that uh, like the, the roots, um, it grounds us, okay, that makes sense, right? It grounds us. So think about people who are in their heads a lot, they're worried a lot, they think a lot, um, and things go round and round in circles in their heads a lot. We want to balance that 
with oils like spikenard, vetiver and stuff. Okay, so vetiver um, is like a cousin to this. So I think spikenard and vetiver goes really well together. Um, yeah, so spikenard is the oil of gratitude. Okay, according to the emotions and essential oils book, um, the negative emotions that it helps us remove is ungrateful, resisting, victim mentality, angry, greedy, selfish, and expecting bad luck. Okay, and sometimes we're not aware that we have these emotions. We think and we hope and we assume that we're pretty good or pretty thankful, pretty grateful. Um, but if the oil smells pungent and yucky, maybe we should change our perspective um, and that will help. So the positive emotion that it helps us incorporate, uh, gratitude, uh, gratefulness, um, acceptance, content, and peaceful. So um, for calming and contentment, you can mix spikenard with a few oils here. It depends on your emotions. And you can look up these oils and see which one matches you better. Uh, spikenard can go with clove or cypress or frankincense, geranium, Juniper berry, lavender, myrrh, wild orange, rose, and vetiver. Like I said, vetiver is really awesome for head, brain. And these oils are great for kids, guys. If you're going to use vetiver, you might as well use spikenard along with it too. Okay. Um, and you can adjust the ratio to your preference. As you get better at it, um, you'll know which one you need more. I like what Debbie Gordon says, um, you know, pour until it feels right <laughs> and then stop. So um, that's, that's the oils. Just mix it together, help you calm and feel contentment. Okay. Um, put that in your diffuser, necklace diffuser or your home diffuser. Okay. Um, the other one is reducing selfishness. Um, these are some of the blends I came up with. Um, and I use. So I'm sharing it with you. So Spike Nut helps you be grounded so that you aren't always caught up in your own problems and agenda. Um, sometimes we feel um, like, you know, it's, um, it, it's normal to be caught up in our problems, but everyone has problems. And sometimes we get caught up too much that we're blinded to other people and other problems in the world, okay? And sometimes because we focus on this so much, um, our problem is too big in our eyes, um, but in reality, it isn't that big. You know, sort of like taking, bringing your finger and getting it so close to your face that you can't see anything beyond that. And really, in reality, it's only this small, um, but uh, we don't see that. And it's sort of putting a plug for allergies here. That's what allergies are. Allergies are just allowing yourself to um, exaggerate uh, little things, little problems. Um, I, you, know, you know the saying, you know, a molehill into a mountain, right? It's, it's sort of like that. So if we suffer from uh, allergies, it's a sort of a, a bit of a clue for us personally to take it down a notch and see things for what they really are. So tell yourself, you know what, I'm sure that this is a smaller problem than it really feels for me. Um, and, uh, and then you can actually see it after a while when you've decided that you're gonna step back from that situation and look at it in a, in a grateful perspective, okay? So if you mix that oil with whatever oils you want, but make sure that you use spikenard, you can rub it on your big toes, you can inhale it, get into your mind. The idea is to help your brains make connections and then um, make it uh, be more grounded. So it's not um, spinning its uh, um, wheels and just keep on spinning and making things too um, big, magnifying things that are not meant to be magnified. And then you say to yourself, I see beyond me. I see beyond me. And, uh, you know, we can live in a way that we believe that we do more than everyone else. We, you know, like I, I thought that too. So when I smelt it, um, I really felt like, wait a minute, I have a lesson to learn here. It's not as yummy as it should be for me. And then I began to look at... Um, my kids and my husband and all the things that he's done for me and I'm like yeah you know what I think I'm kind of selfish and I didn't see because I was so caught up on all the things I had to do um, 
and I, you know, you can see all the important things that you do, but you don't realize that other people are doing the same. And, and we, we haven't shown enough gratitude. And once I decided to uh, change that perspective, the oil smells much nicer. <laughs> and that's how you tell. That's how you tell you've learned and you've changed. And if it's still yucky, you know, if any oil's yucky for me, I make myself change. I just use it until I'm friends with it. Yeah, because there's a lesson for me right there in my face and I should be grateful that it's come my way. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys think? I didn't care for it at first and I'm not sure how I wound up liking it. But now it it kind of has a sweet smell. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah. That, it smelled so bad. But now it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not licorice. It's not grape. Dark chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. It would smell like, um, you know how they have fruit that's covered with dark chocolate? That's what it smells like to me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Dark chocolate with berries inside. And how horrible it smelled when I first got it. And I don't even know how um, I changed with it, but now it just, um, I never thought that I would like it at all. <laughs> but yeah. um, now, like you said, it's like um, a berry covered with dark chocolate. It smells yep. rich. Yep. I had a friend that she just, it came up for her and she didn't like it. So she put on her feet and then she'll cover <laughs> it up. <laughs> oh. Like, yep, do whatever you need to do. But over time, the energy of it helps you, um, you know, your, your energy will match its energy, okay, if you're willing, if you're willing to let your energy match its energy. And uh, it helps. It helps. We don't have to do everything alone. Um, so I'm really grateful for that. So in the Bible, we can read. So let's move on to the spirit here. We read about... A lady who came um, and had an alabaster box of ointment of spikenard, very precious, and then she poured it on Jesus as a sign of gratitude and love. Um, and you know, even the disciples are like, "Hey, don't waste it!" Um, but uh, she used it on Christ. So I like that because you know it uh, kind of teaches us that uh, it's very precious. There's something about it that we need to, to appreciate. Okay. Um, so like I said earlier, sometimes we are under the illusion that we're pretty grateful beings. We say thank you um, to things and people. But uh, this is about our, um, our attitude and our energy. So if we have more gratitude, it's only going to help us more. So let's develop it and attract more things for us. So I believe that, um, you know, the more grateful you are, the more blessed you are. Okay, so like in the scriptures it says, God prospers the righteous people. So um, I want to be prospered. <laughs> I want to be blessed. So, uh, you know, I want to find a way for me to be better all the time. And I feel like gratitude is one of the most important things. Uh, besides love, just gratitude. Um, so it's very high energy, okay? And um, it helps us be more, um, uh, I think, humble. And uh, it helps us see blessings in all situations. So this is amazing for me because the very first time I brought Spike Nard home, I shared it with my oldest daughter and I said to her, smell this. And she's like, oh, yum, mom. And I thought, huh? Smells like stinky feet to me. And she said, Mom, it's about great gratitude for trials. And I'm like, where the heck did you come from? <laughs> because she didn't read that book. She didn't read the emotion book. But she said, it's gratitude for trials. And I said, bingo, I think you got it. I think you got it. So um, I thought about it and I thought, yes, anytime you get given like homework or something at school, it's a new challenge. But it's good for you. So in life, when, you know, we get thrown a curveball or a challenge, you know, you can accept it and be grateful for it and be content um, with this new challenge. Or you can fight it. And like I always tell people, if you fight it, then um, 
Groundhog Day returns. And um, sometimes it turn, returns with a vengeance. So we don't want that. We want to take it and, um, you know, learn it and then move on to the next thing. <laughs> so let's be grateful for our trials. Um, when you look at your trials with a lot of gratitude and you see the perfection in it, that's when you feel like you've um, transcended, uh, you know, so for me, I had to work on that really hard. And I think my husband really helped me when I started writing my story. Um, by the way, it's almost published. Um, so when I wrote it, I kind of had a lot of healing. And I looked back and I felt like, wow, I am grateful. I am grateful for, because it gives us a specialized empathy that we wouldn't have um, otherwise uh, developed. Um, even though it felt like it was too difficult and maybe we can't survive it, but that's nonsense because God won't give us any trials that's beyond our ability, right? So um, when things get too hard, just think to yourself, okay, I need to find the, the gratitude, the blessings in disguise in this situation um, and view it as a blessing, okay? Um, and whether it is or not, if you view it as a blessing, God will help you um, anyways. So that's, that's how I felt. Um, and, you know, it's interesting because it's, a, it's more than a coincidence. I read something recently and this guy talks about Nelson Mandela. And when he, Nelson Mandela was in prison, he went in there kind of a um, angry, kind of a unstable kind of guy. And when he left prison many years later, he came out um, very wise and very stable. And because of that uh, teaching of what happened, um, you know, the prison taught him, it was the best teacher for him. Uh, he led a very peaceful revolution um, very successfully. So, um, so, you know, even though that's a trial, it was it's a blessing to be grateful for. And it saved thousands and thousands of lives, even millions perhaps. Okay, so our traumas, whatever it is, will help us have a specialized um, empathy. So I have a fun uh, blend for you. Um, this is a blend that I made up. <laughs> so take it uh, for whatever it's worth. Um, it's called Appreciation and Gratitude. And I just blend myrrh and spikenard and wild orange together. So this made me sort of very teary actually because it's sort of allowing Mother Earth to mold you and be grateful for however she brings you out into the world. Um, and uh, Wild Orange just gives you that, uh, you know, that abundance that she's going to feed you and feed you and feed you and, and provide for you until, you know, you can't, you don't have room. So um, spikenard, myrrh, wild orange, equal ratios, and then mix that together and smell that, okay? And it helps you have more gratitude, helps you see how life is a lot easier and allows you to, to take it easy. And that's been my oil, um, for, and it's, it's my oil for the last little while because things are shifting and changing in my life. Um, and it's... It's a wonderful learning um, opportunity. So I would say, uh, you know, this affirmation here, I appreciate all the abundant blessings I've been given um, and I allow and continue to attract abundant blessings into my life. Okay, so that's, that's about abundance and gratitude and appreciation. All right, so I hope you guys like that blend. Anyone want to add anything? Because I'm pretty much done with what I wanted to share tonight. I thought that was great. Um, after you went through that, now I can see why it's better for me. Because <laughs> I think I was too worried before with um, trials that I was going through. And as things adjusted, I started seeing that, like, I just started using other oils saying, like, Heavenly Father's going to take care of me. And as my trust grew and as I started seeing like, oh, we're making headway and look at how far we've come and um, this is teaching us a lot. Now we're so much better of a family or you're so better because we got through that. That's more gratitude for what we went through. So then now I can see why it smells different. 
Mm, yeah. Which I really didn't look at it that way. And we worded it that way, then it made me go, oh, that, that's what was going on. So, but um, I think that's something great to share because you know so many people that go through life challenges and you might be like, you know, I know this doesn't seem like it smells great at first, but if you start using it and put it on your feet, you'll start to see a different perspective of what you're going through and you'll come out the other end, you know, and so that could help a lot of people. Well, it's easy for you as a friend to see that things aren't that bad, but sometimes when they're in the situation, they can't see. Um, so one of my friends, she was crying to me just recently. She's like, oh, it's so stressful, all these things. And um, after she finished talking, I thought, so think about this, the, the childhood that you grew up in and the childhood that your, your husband had. Um, are your kids uh, going through any of those things, you know, that you went through? And she's like, no. And I said, they have a wonderful mom and dad that tucks them in, that loves them, that's provided for them. And, um, you know, you have God and you have your faith. And I said, well, your challenge is actually, you're not going fast enough or you're not succeeding faster. I mean, compared to the trials that you had as a child, is that, that terrible? And she's like, no, you're right. You know, but here she is, just focus on this one little thing and wow, you know, and it's good to have a friend maybe or, you know, or the oil to kind of help you put things into perspective. Um, when you've kind of wound yourself up too much, you can't see anything else. Yeah. Well, anyone else want to share? And our parents are probably going to diffuse this oil all the time. <laughs> Yeah. How about you, Peaches? Was that helpful? Well, hi, Laura. I see you on here. That was awesome, Jade and Ben. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, that's um, some awesome oil. We have, uh, I just listed a, a few more scriptures if you're interested in songs of uh, Solomon. There's the references to Spike Nard there. But yeah, how, how cool is that just to be more grounded and just be more grateful and peaceful. Um, it's, use Spike Nard. It's, it's in a five mil bottle, so it's... Um, not the cheapest oil to buy, but uh, definitely worth it. Okay. All right, I guess that's it. So we can end our recording here. Thank you everybody for coming.